What you're looking at here is a movable minor chord shape. You can move it up the fretboard or down the fretboard as well. So for example, at the fifth fret, this is an A minor chord. At the seventh fret, this is a B minor chord. And at the 10th fret, this is a D minor chord. Now let's have a look at the basic shape. And I started off playing at the second fret here. And what this chord is, is a F sharp minor chord. A very common chord used in many, many songs. So let's have a look at the shape. So what are we doing? Well, this first finger is doing a bit of a bar. Now we've looked at bar or mini bars in a previous lesson in this Accord A Day challenge, and we looked at it with the F sharp major chord. But this time here, we're using our first finger to cover three strings. We're covering the E string, the first string, the B string, the second string, and G, the third string. And one thing we want to think about with this finger position compared to the chord diagram is that the finger is not flat. It's not like that, and because that would be really impossible, but it's slightly at an angle on its side and you're kind of playing uh, here like that so you're on it it's on its side now your third finger will come over to here the fourth fret of the D string the fourth string and now because we've got this bar here we need to make sure that we're are getting all the strings ringing out. And what I do is I have my second finger kind of helping me to press down as I'm playing. Now my thumb, now what my thumb's doing though, is it's dampening the sixth string because you don't want to play that string. Now this finger here, not only is it playing the fourth fret uh, of the fourth string, the D string, but it's also helping me to dampen that fifth string as well. Now that might be a little bit more tricky, so if you don't make it for the moment, don't worry about it, okay? Really, don't let it, don't let it bug you, but you can, I'm sure you can definitely get that thumb touching the low E string, so you get that kind of sound. Now, as with all new chords, you wanna make sure that each string rings out, so, That's what you really want in a perfect world. Now, if it's not happening for you at the moment, then you may need to adjust your first finger position, or you may need to be careful with this finger here because this finger really does need to be arched quite a lot in order not to, you know, for it not to hit the third string. All right, you don't want that happening. So I find the way that my fingers are is that they are slanted that way a little bit okay they're not that way they're not facing out but they are slanted going to to the left uh, well for me it's going to the left if you're a left-handed player you'll be uh, it'll be slanting to the right and having a nice uh, slight arch here will make sure that you're not dampening uh, the other strings that you need to play. Now there are other ways of playing this chord, but I think this is a really good basic way for beginners to get started with it. So let's try just moving up and down the fretboard a little bit. So just, you know, because this is what you can do with this chord. As I said, it's a movable chord. Let's go from the second to the third to the fourth, to the fifth, and down again. Fifth, fourth, third, second, first. So it's a really good chord. My movable chords are fantastic because it gives you the possibility of playing so many other chords. So as I said, at the second fret, 
that's an F sharp minor. At the fourth fret, G sharp minor, fifth fret, A minor, seventh fret, B minor. You know, there are a lot of uh, other chords that you can play. This is a very versatile chord shape and one that you really want to learn. So let's try a few practice chord progressions to get you started playing this uh, chord shape. The first one here is D, E minor, F sharp minor, G. And remember, for any of these chords, if you're not sure on how to play them, then check the description here or the link there, I think it is, and uh, you'll get a playlist of all of these chords. One, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. E minor, two, three, four. F sharp minor, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. E minor, two, three, four. F sharp minor, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. Now a little tip here, going from E minor to F sharp minor, this finger here, your third finger, keep it on the fretboard. And so there's your E minor. Now when you go to the F sharp minor, as I said, keep your third finger on, take this one off, second finger, and then slide up to the fourth fret and then put the rest of the chord shape down the um, mini bar with the first finger. So again, here's the E minor. Slide, put the rest of the chord down and play. And the same would apply in reverse if you were going from F sharp minor to E minor. You would just lift off this, slide down two frets, put the rest of the chord shape on. Second chord progression is E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, and A. Now you see all of these sharp minors. This sort of thing is nothing to fear when you know these movable chord shapes. Really becomes a, the fear will leave you once you know these shapes. So E to F sharp minor, to G sharp minor, to A. Now there's quite a lot of movement there from the E to F sharp minor to G sharp minor. But the thing is, is this third finger again, this is your anchor, okay? So with the E, remember E major, not E minor. So E major, take off the fingers, one and two, slide up to the F sharp minor. At the so your third finger is sliding up to the fourth fret, put the rest of the chord on. And then from the F sharp minor to G sharp minor. Now G sharp minor is up two frets. We go F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor. So what you can do is slide everything up two frets. And when you slide up, loosen your grip. Don't take your fingers off, just loosen the grip and then slide up. Because if you're holding, if you're pressing down, and you're trying to slide up, that's a little bit more difficult. So relax, slide. Let's try this. One, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. F sharp minor, two, three, four. G sharp minor, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. E, sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, it's a fantastic chord shape to know and it will really help develop your playing. Now check out this video here and practice your F sharp minor chord in a song. Thanks for joining me today. Happy strumming.